Ruth chapter 1 and verse 4. Matthew 1 verse 5. And they took wives of the women of Moab. The name of the one was Oppa. And the name of the other was Ruth. And they dwelt there about 10 years. Move your Bible, move your place to Matthew 1 and verse 5. And Salmon begat Booz. Of who? Rechab. And Booz begat Obed of Ruth and Obed begat Jesse. Obed begat Jesse. Impact despite background. Impact despite background. Impact. I have discovered that great men who always take their world and their generation by storm who always stand out to carve a niche on the sands of time are men who naturally their backgrounds don't favor them. Great men always have opposite and contrary family background. When you see a man that is great in life, sometimes when he tells you his story, or he begins to tell you where he's coming from, what he has been through, what he has experienced, you are wondering, coming from this kind of background, how did you make this kind of impact? I thank God I, I don't serve a God that consulted my past to determine my future. I thank God I don't serve a God that consulted my yesterday to determine my tomorrow. I thank God I don't serve a God that consulted my family background to determine my future details. I come to prophesy that no matter your family background, no matter where you come from, I see you making impact in your world. I see you making impact in your generation. I see you making impact in your nation. Lift your hand and shout, I receive. I receive. Be Impact. Jesus was a man that made impact. Mark chapter 1 verse 45, the Bible says that by reason of what happened through him, people came from every quarter. Every quarter. By reason of the impact he was making. Mark chapter 1 verse 33, the Bible says so much people gathered at the door. The whole city gathered at the door because of the impact Jesus was making. Matthew 14, 14, the Bible says, a multitude. This is impact. Great multitude. Matthew chapter 15, the, if you read verse 30, the Bible says, a multitude came. Verse 31, he said, they wondered. Multitude wondered. Verse 32, he had compassion on multitude. He was a man of multitude. They kept coming, but the impact he was making, indelible impact. The disciples in the Bible made impact. Acts chapter 14, verse 11, when they were describing the disciples in Acts 14, 11, they said, the gods have come to us in the likeness of men. In other words, this impact they are making is too terrible. It's like God has come down in human form. Acts chapter 16 verse 20 they describe the disciple as the people that turn the world upside down <music> Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10 Paul was talking to the Hebrew church he said God is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love 
Hebrews 6 verse 10 to forget your labor of love that you have had towards the saint in that you have ministered and do minister impact first Corinthians 15 verse 58 Paul was speaking he said be ye steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of God so long you know that your labor of love is not in vain in the Lord impact said this over the years over the years but your background is not the reason why your back is on the ground am i talking to somebody here am i talking to somebody here amos was talking amos chapter 7 verse 14 he said i'm not a prophet or a prophet son amos 7 14 an outstanding impact amos said to amaziah i was no prophet neither was i a prophet son i was an a head man and a gatherer of sycamon fruit but I made impact. I'm not the son of a prophet. I was not raised as a prophet. I didn't go to the school of prophets. He said, but I made impact. Many of us, most times, when we look at our lives and we look at the promises that God has given us, we begin to check who we know. We are checking where we are coming from. We are checking who knows us. But God is saying, there is a way you can make impact despite your background. I see an anointing for impact coming upon somebody's life. Amen. Impact despite background.